Hi, I'm Tony Warwick, trainer and assessor with Premier MOT Training. I want to talk to you today about DDSA special notices. Okay, what is a special notice? A special notice is issued from time to time by DDSA where they were passed changes to the MOT scheme, the MOT manual and the MOT guide. This will be in the form of a special notice. Okay, so where do I find the special notices? If I go into my main login page, my home page, I will notice that I've got an area called special notices. Okay, the special notices will be found here. Now, what I will do if I enter, go into this particular section, you will notice that DDSA will send through notifications, and if you look, it will give the actual date of the, the actual um, notice, it will give you the issue number, it will tell you which classes it actually affects, and it will allow you to view it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to view the special notice. If we look there, this actually gave us all the changes to becoming an MOT tester. Okay, now if we look through it, there's lots of information there, and that will give you the complete up to date situation with regarding that particular section of the industry. Now, what do I do when I've read the special notice? You must read the special notice. You must then, once you've read and acknowledged that, DBSA will actually take it that you have actually understood the special notice and you've acknowledged that you've read it and taken copies if you want to take any copies at all. Okay, now, what happens if I want to go back on any old special notices? If I go back on here, and we actually come out of this particular piece. So I'm going to sign out, come down to the bottom of the login page, and actually at the bottom there, I've got special notices, which are just there. Click on it, and it will now give us a list of all the other special notices. And if we look in here, we've got special notices 2017, Special Notice 2016. So let's pick one particular one, which is probably the most pertinent one that's happened over the last year, apart from annual training. And that's a special notice on headlamp aim testing changes. So simply click on that particular one. That highlights that particular special notice. We open it up. We check on the information. And this actually talks about the changes to headlamp aim testing, which, will, as we all know, happened last, last March 2016. Now, the other nice thing about this, it will actually make a point of taking us directly to the masses of testing. If we go directly to the masses of testing block, we've got then go simply straight to the masses of testing, always worth having a look at and they actually go through why they're making the changes. Okay, what are we changing? And then it looks like, uh, no, and then it looked at the specific areas that it actually changed. It changed from the lower limit being 2% to the new lower limit of 2.75% for all vehicles with a headlamp at less than 850 millimeters from the floor. The changes, as we know, for vehicles with headlamps over 850 millimeters has remained unchanged and stays as it was before. If we look further down on this particular one, it actually gives you a nice animated description of exactly what is actually happening and any changes. I hope you found that helpful and as other things come along, We'll update you on a regular basis. Thank you.